So the first thing that you need to do is to select your yarn. Now there are lots of varieties. You're going to need two skeins. These skeins are, are quite large. They're 100 grams. You really only need 50 grams and um, 50 grams will create two socks. However, you need to have two skeins or this method won't work. So this is a 75% uh, superwash wool and 25% nylon. You can see that it's um, a lightweight yarn. It's called different things in different countries, but um, usually it'll tell you uh, a, a gauge. So on here it says that for 10 centimeters, you're going to have 26 stitches across and 37 rows tall. That is if you uh, knit to gauge and you are using the size needles that are recommended. The easiest way to get the right size needles is to use the millimeters and get yourself a needle gauge that you can check the diameter of your needles. The second thing that you're going to need are two needles. So here you can see that I'm working on a pair of socks. I've gotten the heel turn done. They will turn out the same as uh, this pair of socks, okay, which are, are done. This method also works really well for fingerless gloves. So here are some fingerless gloves with um, made out of bamboo yarn, which is very nice and soft. And you can do different details and things on that. But the method is identical. So on your needles, you are going to need two different colors. I recommend two different color cables as well as, um, or you can have two different color um, tips of your needles. I like turbo needles. They only come in this silver color. But I like turbo because there's no um, edge or ridge at the place where the needle tip attaches to the cable. If you do have a ridge, then you're going to have to um, slip your yarn over that spot every time. There are lots of different yarns. This is a self-patterning yarn. It's made by um, Patent. It's called a four-ply instead of a sock weight yarn. It also has a, um, a gauge on it. So it's called a one or a super fine. They're recommending 3.25 millimeter yarn, uh, needles. And um, so 2.75, 3.25, you'd think it doesn't make a lot of difference, but it can. So if you don't knit to gauge, or if you're using a different size needle than recommended, uh, you need to do a little swatch. And that means just um, knitting a few stitches onto here going back and forth for five or six rows and measuring with a measuring tape. The other thing that you're going to want to do is measure your foot. So go around the the middle of your foot, measure the circumference, and then that will tell you how many stitches that you need to put on. So these are um, 48 stitches and that's with a size uh, three millimeter needle. And these are 60. And so I use the same needles with both of these projects, but because of this bamboo yarn being uh, slightly stretchier and finer than the other yarn that I used, the, um, the same needles required a very different number of stitches.